And right, now, back on to describing what I see in these teasers. So obviously we start again with Survive the Truth. And even in the background here, immediately I see Mara, I see the Dreaming City, more images of Mara Solve. I see a ghost just here. The same symbols as last time, because obviously on the same board. We have a uh, Suspicion, and it's Ikora. Uh, I think that's on Titan with the um, Season of the Arrivals public event. And yeah, I'll stop guessing now, and I'll actually start playing this a bit. <laughs> yep, straight to Suspicion. So we got uh, Ikora under the title of Leader. We got Crow under the title of Outsider and Marasov under the title of Queen because obviously she is a Queen. She's Queen of the Awoken. We also have other images here, which I'm assuming it's just all pictures of Ikora, like a reel of um, film showing different pictures of her. And obviously we have like different numbers and stuff again, like last time. There you go, there's all the stuff. So here's Ikora. And now that I think about it, it does make so much sense why they're putting her on this board. Uh, how she missed the signs of Osiris, uh, well, for lack of a better word, seeming suspicious. And obviously being Sabathun. That image, actually, let me just say that real quick. That one's from, I think that's from the campaign, the Red War. Then we have down here uh, Osiris, obviously, because missing the signs. Osiris will be there as well. We have the Infinite Force portal, which not really much of a connection there, I'm not going to lie, because like that... That was ages ago, and like, Osiris was definitely still Osiris at that time. But then again, we know that Osiris has still been, Os like, or was Osiris when he, especially during time saving uh, Sane. But the characters in, in game are like, okay, wait, how long has Sabathun been Osiris, you know? Like, they don't know, it literally started, like, the moment um, Crow was found on the moon, basically. And when Osiris went after, I think it was the Hive Celebrant, and went lightless. Is she compromised? She could be, because there's a big talk of like the, um, I think it's Amkara school, or just a different type of school in general, that's like floating above um, Shax's head. And it's just like, they, we see Sabathun's been peeping on them through the school. How interesting. How many other people has she influenced with the song? You know, the dun 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 dun. I don't think there was anything else. Yeah, I didn't miss anything else. And I'm looking at the um, glitching as well. So, oh, that doesn't look right. Something looks odd with that. That looks like Sabathun's throne world or something. That's a little detail to know now. And that also could be a thing as well. You have to remember, like, Ikora kind of looks like just there on the moon. She's kind of looking at this. It's like, how long has this thing been here, you know, during Shadowkeep? That's another little interesting point I never thought about. Like, if maybe proximity to the pyramid has corrupted her. But then again, well, I, I'd say we should be also corrupted. But, like, you know, we're the main character. It's hard for us to be, like, swayed, you know? And then we got uh, the Crow or Aldrin debate. I'm still saying he's Crow. There's no way to bring in Aldrin back. But, like, you never know what Bungie might do, man. They could do anything at this point. We have a mission report, which looks like it's from the uh, Chinese side of the astronauts back during the Golden Age, saying, first, light mission complete or complex? Something like that. We have another picture. I think that's Aldrin. Or maybe a Neuron Awoken just here. Uh, obviously, that's him as Crow. That's Aldrin. I don't know. I think that's on the moon because it looks like the pyramid like on the moon Pawn or ally probably pawn, but I feel like he's going to be like taking control of himself soon if he feels like he's slipping I have No clue what that is trust her No, don't trust her. I really don't on our side she has her own ambitions let's just say if anything we're probably being used as pawns as well but really she shouldn't mess with us because like we're literally friends with the elixni or well a, a portion of elixni and like a portion of the cabal so like if she messes with us man man you, you don't want to be on the wrong side of the history you know <laughs> Wait, what's that? Oh, that's Sabathun, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's changed. Bro, this feels like a horror game all of a sudden. It's just things are randomly changing on us. So, yeah, at first it just showed it normally, but now it's showing Sabathun inverted in colors with uh, her logo there. So, that's a bit suspicious, not gonna lie. 
This looks different as well. Oh, all of them look like they're... Yep, yeah, nope, they're all... Yeah, so the trailer just went backwards now. And now let's move on to the fourth teaser for the Witch Queen. This is the next day I'm uh, recording this, so if I do sound a bit different, that's probably why. Because I actually am more pumped now to see the rest of these things. And as well, I noticed in the description... See, the first three were Vanguard Investigations, now we're literally on just like the Take Back the Light teasers. So, yeah, same channel, same video, so let's go. So, immediately for this teaser, we can already tell like this has to be like inside a pyramid or something. Because there's no way, like, this is, uh, well, obviously it's still in Savathun's throne world. But, like, the look at the architecture around. It's, like, black and shiny. So, I 100% could say, like, that's definitely pyramid stuff. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. I can't believe I actually remember the whole sentence. But, um, obviously this one's Eris commentating over. I think Ikora, Mara, and Savathun are the next few. Or maybe, I think the ghost is one of them. But, like, each of these have, like, somebody voicing over, like, stuff off. Well, obviously displaying, uh, the Witch Queen itself. The, uh, expansion. Good screenshots here. This gives me vibes of, like, the Dreadnought. This. I know it's probably still in Savathun's throne world, and this is like probably the underbelly of it, but like this really does give me like some vibe from like King's Fall, which honestly, I'm not surprised if it was all of a sudden. They're like, oh yeah, by the way, King's Fall is now in Savathun's throne world or something like that. <laughs> they just give it an excuse like to be in this world. I take back the lights. So yeah, um, because that one was so fast and I forgot that these teasers are getting smaller, I'm actually going to go on to the fifth one now, and we'll, we'll have a little look-see at the fifth one, and then we'll end it there for today. Right, here we go. The Hive shouldn't be able to use the light against us. They shouldn't be able to use it at all. The Hive shouldn't be able to use the light against us, they shouldn't be able to use it at all. Which is kind of true, but obviously, well, Sabathun's kind of proven us wrong here. Um, but yeah, again, there's a load of theories about, like, why Sabathun has the light and how she gets it, so... There's not really much for me to go over other than talk about how gorgeous, like, the designs are for, like, these various areas. All in, like, the same place, like... Like, we have this light-filled, um, what nearly gives me, like, a kind of cathedral vibe just from this, like, archway here. But obviously when you walk in there, it's, it's not really going to be a cathedral unless it's a hive cathedral, you know? And where was it? So we go across, yeah, see, we have, like, an outside view then of the, um, I was going to call it the Scarlet Keep. Well, we'll call it, like, the Witch Queen's Keep. And again, yeah, it's just so nice, especially seeing, like, the red around. I think the red really helps, like, I don't know, I guess contrast the rest of the green in the area and dimness of the area, you know? And here we have another shot, obviously in another underground area within um, Sabathun's throne world itself, with a bunch of knights here. But then again, they kind of look like thralls with swords, but <laughs> I doubt we're going to get some thralls with swords unless they're going to throw a curveball at us and be like, oh yeah, thralls now have swords, you know? But yeah, I doubt that. They've never shown anything about that so far. And here's like basically the last um, like snapshot of of uh, this teaser we look like there's like a little entrance here to go into there and well obviously do something but yeah, no sorry I, again there's not really much i can commentate on this other than like it, it just looks nice i know i'm playing these at 720p but like in game they're just gonna look like gorgeous you know and obviously at the end we have take back the light sorry i'm getting into the mood again minecraft parody song anyway thank you so much for watching this teasers video if you want to watch the previous video I made, you can. It'll be linked below or in the iCard. Other than that, if you want me to view the other two teasers now, let me know. Uh, to be honest, I think I might leave this now until like maybe like a week before the Witch Queen launches because it feels kind of pointless now, just me like looking at these little teasers and not really giving much. And other than that, subscribe for more Destiny 2 The Witch Queen content. Thanks again, Gary, just for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.